So now we've got the antenna together, we're just going to mount it on top of the pole. So just open up the clamp. And then we just put the clamp around the hole like so and just finger tighten off the off the nuts. Just enough so it gets a grip on the cable on the pole. Alright, so that's ready now to align. Step back a bit please. Loop. So I'm just going to align this using my meter, but you can use one of the do-it-yourself alignment techniques if you don't have access to a meter like this. So I'll just screw in my cable into the back of the antenna. Okay, so I'm just doing a quick alignment today, but I've done another video on how to do alignment with either a do-it-yourself method or the professional meters. But now that I'm happy with how that's aligned, I'm going to tighten this off. Okay, so it doesn't need to be too tight, you need to be able to move it again in the future, but that'll do. Alright, that's the antenna attached. Okay, so now that we've got the antenna mounted, we need to get the cable into the roof. Now I've already got this tile kicked up a little bit here, and you can see there's a sarking inside the, the roof. So I'm just going to punch a small hole with my screwdriver in there, just as small as possible hole to get the cable through. And I'm just going to run enough cable into the roof cavity here to get me to where I'm going to install the two-way splitter. Now depending on what number of TV points you want to have, you'll have a different type of splitter or no splitter at all. But I'm just going to leave that much there. And I need enough cable to get to the antenna itself. So I'm going to cut that up there. Okay, so now the next step is to get the boot onto the cable. So this is a little gasket that basically protects the end of the connector. So I need to chop the end off the boot a bit so we've got the ability to fit the cable into there. So I'm going to cut it about here. That will allow my cable to slide on like so. Now I'm going to terminate this cable with an RG6F connector, so that's on there. That's on the end of the boot like that. I've got another video on how to actually terminate a cable with an RG6F connector. So it's ready to go, so we connect. Connect onto the cable like so. Then we just slide this boot on over it. Right, that's on there now firmly. And from here, then we put some cable ties on. To hold the cable nicely onto the pole.
bottom of the pole, I always like to put a service loop of tape. This is just some spare cable should you ever need to re-terminate the cable in. It also means that any drips will come down and end up on the tile, not following the other cable going into the roof. Okay, so now that we've got our cable ready to go, we can pull back this other tile. Now sometimes the easiest way to do this is just put a screwdriver under the one beside it and then pull down. Put the screwdriver under this one. And I like to have the cable going into that gap there between the two tiles. It just means there's less risk of moisture following it up there. So that's nicely in there. We can trim off our cable ties to make it nice and neat. Okay, and that's ready to go. Now you may want to put some silicon around the hole where the cable goes in as well just to provide a little bit of extra protection. And that's all done.